So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I got this look. I'm also gonna do just a mini haul of some products that I got from Ulta and Octoly. And I'm also gonna be sharing my opinion on a few of the products that I got. So if you're wondering why I look a little greasy, it's because I literally just put this Clarins double serum all over my face and I'm just giving it time to sink in before I do anything else. I'm gonna show you some makeup that I got before I open it all and take it out of the packages and start using it. So the first thing I got here is from L'Oreal and this is a primer base. This is like a lash primer. I don't think I've ever used one. I never really felt that I needed to, but I was just kind of curious. So I picked one of these up. I wanted to see how it worked. I know that I love the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, so I thought that maybe the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer would be really cool. Next, I got some of my favorite mascara. I ran out, I have five tubes, and I have not even thrown them away yet because I've just been scraping every last drop out, even though they like died a long time ago. So I went ahead and got me a new tube of this. This is the Clarence Paris um, Super Volume Mascara, or Mascara Super Volume. This stuff is amazing. It is not even gonna need this primer, but I just wanted to try the primer out for fun to see how it worked. But this mascara is really good. I'm pretty bummed that they don't sell it in store at Ulta. So Ulta, you guys need to get this in store because it took a while to get my Ulta package here, which I didn't like. So this is what the mascara looks like. I've talked about it before. Excellent product. So I got two Morphe brushes because Ulta now sells Morphe. I can't remember if they sell it in store, but I know they sell it online but I got the M433 and the M501. These are blending brushes. This one is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be more like the size of my 224 from MAC, but look at the difference. What am I gonna do with this? Use it for under my eye or highlighter. I just thought it was a typical blending brush. So I've never used these two brushes before, so. Hopefully they're good. Just real quick, I got some samples in the package too. Um, I got this Beauty is Renewal Face Cream, Probiotic Plus C Renewal Cream from Andalou Naturals. I got a Clarins sample, and this is a Gentle Foaming Cleanser with Cotton Seed. So that is what it looks like. I also got this little sample of Olay Regenerous Luminous um, tone perfecting cream. So the last thing I got from Ulta was these Ardell Wispies. I love any kind of wispy false lashes, so I picked these up. They were just a few dollars, so why not? So the next three products I'm gonna show you, I actually got from Octoly, um, and it's all from the brand Koki. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's K-O-K-I-E. But I got this polish, which I'm wearing right now. But I'm loving this color. I think it looks great. So um, I also got this. Liner from Koki. Blue. Ah, can't wait to use that. I also got this eyeshadow palette. This is the Koki Professionals, and this one is called Indigo Night. These colors are so pretty. Ah, cannot wait to do a look with them. I also got this eyeliner in. <laughs> it's really funny. I got this eyeliner and then, then I put in an order for the Koki stuff. I thought it was all the same brand, but this one is actually Kiko. <laughs> I was going to do like an all Koki look, you know what I'm saying? But when I just picked it up, I was like, that don't say Koki, that says Kiko. But um, yeah, so I got this eyeliner too. I'm still going to do a look with the products I just showed you though, and I'm going to be trying out this primer. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got really quick before I opened it all up and started using it. Let's move on with this video.
Okay, so I just um, finished my foundation, my concealer, and I put on some of the Airspun Translucent Powder to bake a little bit. And I figured while my makeup is baking, I will talk to you about the products that I just used, tell you how I feel about them. So overall, these eyeshadows were really nice. They feel really good, the consistency just, it's like they're powdery, but they feel kind of silky and creamy. I was just a little bit disappointed that the lavender shade didn't show up as much as I had hoped it would, but overall, I really like these shadows. Pretty good. A little bit of fallout, but they blended really nicely. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. So overall, I like this little palette, and I'm pretty sure you can find these Koki products at Walmart, which is really nice. This eyeliner of theirs is really good. Really creamy, very blendable, worked really well in my waterline. I like the feel of this and it stays really well because that swatch is from earlier. These two are from yesterday and they're still there, so pretty long wear, I would say. I did not end up using the really big brush from Morphe, but I did try out the 433 and I think it worked really well. I forgot to tell you guys how I felt about the fingernail polish. This fingernail polish is awesome. It dried quickly and it doesn't even claim to be a quick dry, I don't think. Um, this is called Blue Beyond and one coat yesterday looked amazing, but I just did two coats just to be safe. Um, but yeah, they dried really quick and the color is awesome. Very shiny, there's no top coat on there. Overall, this is a really good fingernail polish and I would like a lot more colors um, from this brand. So I'm actually really crazy about this Kiko liquid liner. I've been using it for three or four days now and it surprisingly dries matte. I don't think I've ever had a liquid eyeliner that dries really matte looking. And I think it's just different, it's interesting and I just noticed that my wings aren't matching but what can you do? Overall, this is a really good liquid liner. Um, it's got a felt tip and it's pretty good product and I really like the way it dries. So next I'm going to be trying out this primer. I'm not really sure how to use it. I don't know, am I supposed to let it dry or what? But I'm gonna figure that out. I'm gonna test it out. And I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. And I am going to be using it with my Clarins mascara. Like I said, this does not need a primer. This stuff is amazing. So there's actually no directions on this, I don't think. It just says coats Coats for visibly thicker lashes and a smoother mascara application gives a blowout effect. So I guess I'm just gonna apply it all over like you would apply mascara. And I thought it was gonna show up really white, but it actually doesn't. You can kind of see it, but it's not that bad. Ew, I must have had leftover mascara on because look, that's great. I did not want to get that funky, but anyway. So I applied that. Not sure if I'm supposed to let it dry, but maybe I will just to do it because I don't know what I'm doing. There is a man outside of my bedroom talking and it's making me extremely uncomfortable and giving me anxiety. Let's try this out. Am I supposed to let it dry? I don't know. My camera's dying though, so that's just great. So I'm actually liking the way this feels as I'm applying this mascara. My eyelashes do feel like just smooth. I can't really explain it, but it feels like a very smooth application. Not sure if it's actually making a difference, but it is a pretty fresh um, tube, so I don't know if that would make a difference or not. I know it makes a difference with mascara. So I'm gonna charge my camera, finish my mascara, and I will get back to y'all. So I just finished um, cleaning off the baking powder and I finished my other eye. Overall, I guess the primer was okay. I'm not sure if it really made a difference, but like I said, with that mascara, you don't really need anything except that mascara. 
Um, but I was curious, does any of y'all out there use an eyelash primer? If you do, do you have any tips for me? And also maybe you could tell me exactly what it's supposed to do. And also, am I supposed to let it dry first? That would be great if you guys could tell me down below. So I'm finished with this look. Still trying to decide on what lipstick I want to wear. Maybe I'll go in with a little Tarte lip paint in the color Namaste. And I will put a little MAC lip gloss in the shade see-through. So this is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Leave me some comments down below and if you have any advice on eyelash primer, that would be great. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!